This is White Wolf Gaming, and I just wanted to go over my current D3 FNC build. This is a build I've been using for the better part of 1.7, and most likely will be for the beginning of 1.8. It's actually the strongest SMG build in the game, and once we get a bit further along in the video, I'm going to show you exactly why that is. Let me show you what I'm rocking here. I've got three D3 FNC with two piece Banshee and one Ninja Bike. This build is built on the premise of being able to melt somebody before they get behind you. So it's kind of like the Lomachenko style of boxing. Sometimes the best defense is also a good offense. Now I'm going to be running an SMG. I'll be using the MP7. It's got the highest burst damage in the game. And it also has the highest range for an SMG in the game as well. I'll be running hurried, deadly, and responsive. With 120 mag size, 3% crit chance, and 520 rate of fire. Everything else and be stacking as much crit damage as possible. It's already got crit chance baked in, so I won't need to waste the talent on that. For the vest, I'm going to be running 8% skill haste, 16372 health, 
and 49% ammo capacity. You want to make sure you stack as much of that ammo capacity as possible because you will burn through some rounds with an MP7. So definitely stack that up. For the mask, I'm going to be running 4% critical hit chance. For the knee pads, I'm going to be running 15,248 health. For the ninja bike, I'm going to be running 8% critical hit damage and 55% ammo capacity. Like I said, you want to stack that ammo up. For the gloves, I'm going to be running SMG damage, critical hit damage, and critical hit chance. For the holster, I'm going to be running critical hit chance as well. For the mods, I'm going to be using all ballistic shield mods and health mods. This isn't a hybrid build. The most important thing is being able to stay on your feet long enough for the people around you to be able to hit a heal, or for you to be able to melt the person in front of you and to be able to hit a medkit. Skill haste is not a big necessity for this, so you'll want to stack up that health. As for my abilities, I'm going to be running a booster shot. Not only does it get, increase your damage, it's also going to increase your damage resistance. So when you go up to shoot somebody, you pop that beforehand, it's going to increase your shield damage resistance as well for 10%. For the shield, we're running 471,000 health, and this is where we get into the damage I was talking about. You get 26% damage increase just from the shield mods. Now you pair that with the 10% out of cover damage you get from Banshee, you're sitting at a whopping 36% damage increase just from the gear. That's not including the responsive or deadly from your MP7. That's just from the gear itself. Now, MC Skull Gloves has 15. Then you get the two-piece Banshee, the two-piece Predator. You're still only sitting at 18. This is sitting at 36%. Enough said. So for my talents, I'm going to be running on the move. You kill somebody before you pop that uh, booster shot. That's going to be sitting you at 25% damage resistance for 10 seconds. That's going to make your shield just as strong as all these other guys that base their shield off of electronics. Got triage and just in case your shield does go down. You shoot down a heal. Your teammates run over that. You're going to get your shield back just that much quicker. You're going to be running combat medic with this. Whenever you're running in a team, you always want to make sure you have combat medic on. Just in case one of your teammates doesn't have a heal or they can't pop a med kit, not only can you give them a heal, but you can also increase the amount of heal you get from a med kit as well. I'm going to also be running precision. If one of my teammates is not running a pulse, this will give me an extra 5 to 6% pulse for the crit chance and crit damage with only one headshot. That's all I got to do is shoot one time in the head. I'm going to be running 44.5% crit chance, 117% crit damage, and 62% headshot damage. Just to give you an idea of what type of damage you're going to be doing with this, I'm only going to be using a booster shot. Ninety-one six four zero, And that's with the MP7 and only 8,300 firearms. I do hope this build was helpful. If you liked it, please leave a like at the bottom. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Y'all have a good day.